Hello, we'd like to give you a quick tour of the new Carmel Clay Schools Canvas course template that teachers will be using this school year. The purpose of this template is to streamline access to students' resources and assignments within Canvas. The new CCS template course homepage has been simplified. On the left-hand side of the page, you'll see the course navigation. We've limited the number of items that show up in the course navigation to make access to content as easy as possible for students. To access their daily lessons, students can either select modules from the course navigation or learning modules from the homepage. The current day's module will always be listed first. Students will begin their day by opening their agenda to read a summary of what is expected and then working through each element of the module. This may include Zooms, mini lessons, assignments, etc. Students can access class resources such as links to online textbooks and other supplemental materials by selecting class resources. Finally, to get in contact with your student's teacher, select Contact Me. Our goal is to make access to Canvas as easy as possible for students and We are so excited to be welcoming back our students into the building next week and just wanted to take a moment to share with you a little bit about how our schedule will work. As you know, those of you that have chosen the hybrid model, your students will attend school every other day. So what I want to start with first is our clay cohort. Those are those students whose last names begin with A through K. A student in the clay cohort, as you can see here, will begin next Wednesday, August 19th, in person on a red day. That's an A day for us. Our seventh and eighth graders may understand that more than our sixth graders right now. But those of you with sixth grade students, I assure you, we will take good care of your children once they arrive in our building. So anyway, those students who are part of the Clay cohort, last names A through K, will begin in person on August the 19th. That's what the IP stands for. Then on August 20th, they will be at home. While they're at home, they will be logging into Canvas and doing extension activities and following up on the work that they had learned the day before while they were in person. Students in the Clay cohort will then will return on August 21st to be in person, and then on the 24th, they will stay at home. And that sequence will continue throughout the semester. Students, we believe this will make sense to you very quickly once you get engaged in what we're doing and once we get back into the swing of school. We're just so excited to be able to have students back in the building and we're looking forward to a great start. So those of you in the Clay cohort, we look forward to seeing you in person on August the 19th. Next, I'd like to take just a moment to explain our virtual Clay cohort. This is for those students whose last names start with A through K and will be staying home during first semester and receiving all of their school virtually. Those of you who are in the Clay cohort, when you get online on August the 19th, you can expect your teachers to Zoom with you. They will send you an invite prior to the 19th, and during the class period that's on your schedule, you should be invited into Zoom with them, and they will begin to explain how their class will work this year in the virtual format. Then, on the 20th, you also will be logging back into those classes, but on the 20th, you will just be going through Canvas and the um, class is that they have. As you can see, you will start on two red days or our traditional A days. So those of you in the virtual clay cohort, on the 19th, you will log in to your Chromebook, you'll get into Canvas, and you will join a Zoom um, invite that your teacher has sent you in, during each of your periods. Then on the 20th, you will still be on a red day. 
You'll go back to those eight-day classes in Canvas, and you'll follow up with the extension activities and other work that your teachers may have assigned. Then on Friday the 21st will be your first white day, or as we often call B-day classes. And again, you can expect your teachers will Zoom with you um, at the beginning of each class period. You can expect that link through Canvas. And then on the 24th, you'll do your work through Canvas for your white days, and you will continue with that same rotation throughout first semester. Now I'd like to take just a moment and speak to those of you who are in our hybrid Trojan cohort, those of you who have the last name L through Z. Students, those of you in the Trojan cohort will start your school year also on August 19th, but as is indicated on the calendar here, you will be at home. That's what the AH stands for. So you will actually start your school year at home on a white day, which is a B day. So those of you that are, as you're logging into Canvas, will need to look and see what your B-Day classes are on your schedule and follow along at home in Canvas. Then you'll come to school on the 20th in person on a red day, which is an A-Day. Then on the 21st, you will be at home working also on a red day, following up with assignments and extensions from your previous in-person day. On the 24th, when you return, will be your first in-person white day, or B day. And then on the 25th, you will be at home. And we will continue that sequence throughout the semester. Now, those of you that are in sixth grade, don't worry when it comes to your electives. When it says five, fifth period, and sixth period, those classes are both A and B. And so you will just log in to the Canvas course where the, um, that is indicated on your schedule. I realize that a lot of this may seem very confusing, but I assure you, we will take the time to explain it very thoroughly with our students, and I believe we'll get into the swing of things very quickly. Trojan uh, cohort, we're looking forward to seeing you in person on the 20th, but remember, you are expected to log in on the 19th and visit each of your classes Canvas course as your teachers will be uploading things for you to do on that day. We do look forward to a great start to the school year. Our virtual Trojan cohort will begin on August 19th on a white day or a B day classes on your schedule. On August 19th, students should log in to their Canvas account and look into each teacher of their B day classes on what they have in Canvas. Sixth graders, you will want to look in both your fifth period and sixth period teachers' Canvas classes. These are classes that you will all have gotten an invite to and so they should be available on your desktop. So on August 19th, if you are in the virtual Trojan cohort, in other words, you're gonna be working from home every day and your last name starts with L through Z, you need to log into Canvas to begin your school day in your school year. Then on August 20th, you will go to your A-Day classes online or your Red Day classes, and you can expect to Zoom with each of your teachers during the period which you're assigned. The one exception might be your Edmentum classes um, because the teachers will be reaching out to you through their system a little bit differently, but you can expect regular contact for your Edmentum uh, elective classes as well. But as far as your core classes go, your language arts, your math, science, social studies, and wellness, you can expect a Zoom invite in your Canvas courses for August 20th for your Red Day classes. Then on August 21st, you will be back working in your Red Day Canvas classes, but your teachers won't be available because they'll be teaching students who are actually in our building at that time. But then on the 24th, you'll go to your White Day classes again. You'll open up Canvas and you'll have the Zoom invites for your White Day or B Day classes. And then finally, you'll go. Um, into Canvas on the 25th, and that will start the rotation where you'll have two red days and two white days throughout the school year. If you take a moment and look at the calendar, you can see that starting uh, the 20th of August, you'll do your first of two red days, and then you have two white days, the 24th and 25th, 
and then two red days. The important thing to remember is starting um, on the 20th, you will always have a Zoom kind of in-person uh, meeting with your teacher. And then the following day, you'll be working in Canvas in their course. Remember, though, August 19th is the first day of school, and you need to log in and visit all the Canvas um, classes for those that are on your B-Day schedule, and you can look for more information there. I know it's a bit confusing just to explain this through a video and, and with this graphic, but we think it'll make sense as soon as we get into the flow of things. And just know that we're looking forward to helping to meet all of your educational needs this year.